Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to set up a Shopify store, uh, basically get it ready for you know accepting first sales and making first sales. So um, we'll start with uh, I'll, I'll, there is will be links that, that you, you can click to sign up for Shopify. And so the first step for you would be to just click get started. You will specify your email address, your password, your store name here. Um, and I've just done it a few minutes ago, so I'll, I'll show you the stores that I have created. But basically, just just, just click in here. You'll have free uh, 14 days free trial of Shopify. And so what you'll have in here, um, that's basically the uh, that's basically the stores that I have created. It's very you know it's very simple here. Um, and you can see your trial just started. Um, we didn't have we didn't have any any sales. We didn't have any orders yet. Um, but basically, that's what we have here. And we have the online store, and I'll walk you through like all of the main settings, um, so you can go and you know set it up for yourself as well. So um, first thing that you would do is um, you'd go in here. You would uh, click on Explore Free Teams, and there are a lot of teams that you know you can also purchase with Shopify. But you can choose the the teams that is um, you know that is designed uh, for you know this is as simple as possible. I found this team Brooklyn, which is mm, free. Uh, it's pretty good, so I would I chosen this one. And so what you have in here is you have um, the ability to customize this team now. So you click customize here, and um, you have you have this this um, like all of these options in here with um, uh, with setting up how your store looks like. And um, so I have the logo as you can see in here, and that logo was ordered on Fiverr.com. Um, so Fiverr.com is a service where you can get, you know, a lot of different services for like five dollars. And so th this service here is um, basically uh, you can see, like for example, if you search for logo, we have a lot of different people who are um, providing this type of service and you can see how many of those designs are here so you can choose you know whatever you like here and um, you can also sort um, these providers by best selling so by but best selling means you know they, they sell the most and uh, these are you know quite um, quite good quality for you know for what you pay so uh, you can choose any logos in here whatever you like in terms of styling um, I already done it so as the logo is in here and so uh, I have the I have the main banner. So to set up the banner, uh, you can use um, you can go to uh, so header is is logo as you can see here the settings uh, for the logo. You can have you you, you see like main um, main settings here basically. So main menu uh, as you can see these are like home and catalog. Um, and um, if you click back. Um, you have other sections like footer. So footer also can be set up different um, additional menus can be set up in here. I'll show you in a second how to do uh, exactly that. So um, and also like all different types like all, all the colors, all the type of type of stuff can be set up in here. You can make it you know red, white, whatever you want to do. Just I would recommend just keep it you know as simple as possible. Uh, start making first sales and then over time you can. Uh, modify your store as you know as much as you wish and um, basic settings here as well like um, fonts if you like to um, you have social media so you have you can connect your Twitter uh, you can connect your um, Facebook page for this business you can connect your Pinterest or your Instagram Tumblr Snapchat YouTube like all of these can be connected in here and um, like that's all can be connected and also you can choose the image for the um, basically for for sharing page so let's say uh, let's see that's one right and so and so these are these are some of the things that you can set up favicon uh, you can also go to uh, you can you can simply go to um, like oh, you you can either explore like free images like here are a lot of them uh, and so fashion again uh, that's your favicon can be or you know whatever your favicon you like to be it can be here uh, or again you can go to fiverr.com and order 
a favicon. Favicon basically is this thing in here on top that shows like Shopify right now is this green button. So and check out, I would just I would just keep it simple. I would just keep it uh, as it is, you know, as simple as possible. So you can start, you know, you will start like getting for first sales. You will then see, you know, where's the breakdown in the in the processes where you know people usually leave the checkout. Um, and then you would, um, you know, focus your work on there. But for now, like it's, it's better just to, you know, keep it as simple as it is. And so what we'll do now is we'll customize uh, store a little more. So I'll just show you what you can do in terms of like customization. Um, so there are different sections here. As you can see, um, we have we have the slideshow, uh, which is sync on top and we have featured collection which is if we scroll a bit down and we can also add any section, like we can also add, um, I don't know, feature product, let's say, you know, we can, we can do anything here. We can customize it as much as we want. It just, the only thing is um, you want to keep it as focused as possible. And sometimes it's better just to have one product in here so people can click through it, you know, straight to the product. Uh, people can check out, people can purchase, and so you can just simplify it for them. Because if you add a lot of stuff in here, it can make it, you know, it can make it worse actually for you. So um, another section that you can add here is newsletter. But I'll show you what you can do to to collect emails. You don't have to use this in here to uh, to to collect your emails because you know that will be very low conversion rate. I'll show you what you can do to collect emails in other video. Um, or it, it, actually even in this video, I'll show you uh, very quick how you can do it. So that's what you can customize in here. And so, uh, for example, featured collection, um, as you can see, it's very customizable here. So feature cost collection, you can customize how many products are there. Uh, it can be per row, how many, um, like all of these, as you can see, how many rows are there. And so all of these things can be customized in here in featured collection feature product and so you can select the product we didn't have any product so I'll show you in a second how to add them but you can see here that um, all of that can be uh, set up in here but basically we have now more or less um, more or less usable store I'll just walk you through um, through through other settings other important settings uh, that uh, that are important before you start selling stuff so in settings in here um, as you can see if you go in settings you're like settings for different uh, parts of the business or so if you click general in here um, so that's that's a store name that's email that associated legal name of the business you know whatever you want to call your business um, it's in here uh, you just you just choose it here um, and like this, this is this is not necessary unless you want to modify the order ID number um, and so legal name of the business. Like that will be all related to your business specifically how you how you do it. Now um, charge charge taxes. So um, if you if you choose this, um, so all taxes are included in my prices. Um, just just include this uh, charge taxes on shipping rate. Um, like this is not needed and this like depending on, on county um, if, if you want to charge depending on your you know taxation your estate uh, you want to have you know you want to charge tax on it but it, it will depend on your specific situation here so that's what you need to, to consult with your accountant so taxes uh, next one is account account and so you can see credit card rate, like they, they are straightforward about you, you'll pay 2.9% plus 30 cents on each transaction. Um, account status, uh, trial monthly, member since, uh, like all of these things, account owner. And so what you can do in here, if, if for example, if you work with VA, um, you want to give them access to your, to your account, you can add them here. So um, like, you put their name, you put their last name, developer, designer, marketer, like whoever that is. You can add their email in here. It will be it. Will, it will send them the uh, the email address uh, to their email address. It will send them the access so they can log in into your store. They can make some changes. They can add products. You know whatever your permission will be. 
Um, and so I give uh, collaborator access. Like if you if you want more detail on that, uh, there are also different levels of access. Um, what permissions? So if you setting staff account permissions, uh, if you want to see if you want to see like the um, example staff account permissions, so it's here and you can see here the uh, the level of access that, that person will get so as you can see this staff account will have full permissions or you can modify it so they don't have access for example to your orders to your customers you know some of the most like important data they will not have access to it so that's it for this uh, if you want to add someone that's what you can do if you want to pause your store you can close your store you can hire a Shopify expert, uh, you can do everything from this page here. So payment providers, that's also unique to yourself. Um, uh, like Stripe is, is a good one. Uh, if, you, if you can connect it, um, that's where you do it. PayPal, Express, Checkout, Amazon Pay, and also alternative payments. You can see how many of them. You want to see which ones are available in your country specifically, so you can add them here. And um, like cash on delivery, that's also um, like some of the options in certain countries that you can utilize. Payment, um, payment authorization, automate, uh, yeah, so here you just you should automatically capture payment for orders. Uh, so this is pretty much it in here. Notifications, um, what you want to see, like, notif uh, like the notifications that are sent to customer. Let's just keep it, just keep it, you know, as it is. Um, it's very simple and basically here um, you can send test notification see if that works well um, but like that's that's very straightforward very simple you want to keep it as simple as possible at the beginning uh, you know and later on you start to modify it you start to tweak it you start to make it um, you know more um, more advanced um, and so um, add credit card uh, and use it to pay your invoices. So here you can add your credit card, invoices and fees, uh, view Shopify account summary, how much you owe them. Uh, so total fee is zero because this is free trial account. <clears throat> and so here, check out. Um, so customer accounts. Um, as you can see, the options are customer will only be able uh, to check out as guests. I would just stick with this one. I would just stick with this one and, you know, that's optional. That's like if, you, if you're expecting your customers to often, you know, to buy from you very often, you can have uh, this one, but like just as guests is, is good enough. It's, it's like, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, and so, like, just, just don't choose this one because if you do this, uh, you'll eliminate a lot of your orders. So customer contact, um, customers who choose to check out their using the phone number will get order updates by SMS. Um, and I would just choose one. Or you, you can choose this, whatever you, whatever you want. It, it's, it's not that important. Like this one first is okay, so just leave it as it is. Customers can choose to add a phone number or email to receive shipping updates after they complete their order so you can add this one if you want to it's it's not necessary as well so here um request last name only um company name no company name is not needed address line like second line you can leave it uh, phone number um is okay just hidden um and with, when the customer is checking out uh use the shipping address as billing by default uh, so like you want to reduce a uh, number of fields that um, customer has to uh, fill out because the more they have to fill out, you know, the more it get tiring, the more, the better the chance they'll just abandon the checkout and just leave the website because, you know, um, we are all lazy and <laughs> we don't want to, we don't want to too much, too much work, uh, you know, when we're buying stuff. So enable address, uh, auto completion, um, that's, that's okay here. Um, by default, uh, yes, so this one I would just ask for permission. I would just, I would just leave uh, agrees so we can send them more emails and sell more stuff. Um, 
after an order has been paid, do not automatically fulfill. Uh, you'll fulfill it yourself. After an order has been mm, fulfilled and paid, um, automatically archive the order. And so that's, that's good. So re refund policy here. Uh, as you can see, I've just automatically uh, generated your store checkout page is played in English because you'll get majority of your sales come from English countries. Terms of service, that all has been done. So as you can see, it's very simple here. Very simple, like Shopify made it a uh, real simple tool for anyone to start selling, um, you know, stuff online. So notifications. So, uh, sorry, notifications we already visited, uh, billing we've visited, um, checkout, not sure, let me check. Yeah, so checkout uh, we have visited. So files, if you want to like upload any of the images, you can see they're all uploaded here. Um, and the only thing that I wanted to show you is, um, so here's this image, right? And so this image that we've used for main banner, there is a, um, there is a service called, uh, there is a service called uh, Tiny, uh, Tiny PNG. And so what it does, it basically uh, makes all of the, makes all of the images that you have uh, in like smaller size. So that means, um, that means they'll, they'll take less space. Um, and so we'll try to upload it now and we'll compare the, we'll compare the size. So right now this image is, uh, let's see how much it's. So this 6.98, uh, megabytes. Let's see what it will make out of it. So it's compressing now, it will be smaller. So the smaller your image size, the faster your pages will load. And you know, that's quite important. That's quite important because, uh, you know, the page will load faster and, you know, people are usually very impatient. So it will help you to, to get um, higher conversion rates usually. So that's very important. Um, so you've just downloaded that image or, uh, for finding more free images, like for example, no matter what your niche is, um, let's see, closing, right? So we'll go to a website called Pixabay. A lot of great images in here, free images. You can, um, you can free to use them. Feel free to use them. So a lot of, a lot of stuff in here. So that's all available for you to download. Um, so shipping. Another, another thing that um, I wanted to explain. Um, so shipping zones, basically uh, if we'll do, for example, uh, as an example, we'll do um, the, uh, the drop shipping model where we'll send people, um, basically where we will send people uh, stuff from China. And so they will be, they'll be paying us for stuff. Um, but then, um, you know, we'll be sending them, uh, like we'll, they'll be paying us, uh, you know, no matter where we're based. Uh, but then we'll fulfill the order from China, like automatically I'll show in a second using the Oberlo app, uh, this drop shipping model, uh, from, from website called AliExpress. So zone name is, uh, basically the majority of sales that you'll get, uh, will, uh, come from, you know, uh, us. Canada, UK, and Australia. These are main countries that um, people, you know, basically buy from. Like you'll find in, in your business that it's majority of. Um, okay, so I cannot add it. See uh, why it's not here. Okay, so at countries. So we have, oh, I don't know, why is that, let's see. So we basically want to charge people, you know, there are different, um, different ways and different models um, for charging. 
people uh, for your um, for the shipping uh, what we'll use is we'll do the shipping over forty dollars is free and uh, everything you know below that uh, customers will have to pay for it so we'll use us plus canada plus uk plus australia these are main countries that will be basically will advertise in in those countries mostly so um We'll advertise in others, but like these are you'll find in your business um, as well as in mine. It's uh, majority of customers come from these specific countries. United Kingdom, we have, and we have the Canada. So these are these are four countries, four countries, four most important. And so standard shipping, um, minimum order rate, free. Okay weight based rate um calculate rates okay so no 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 not calculate but price based so the price based rate uh so 50 plus free shipping let's say that's what we want to achieve so 50 plus 50 maximum no limit right free shipping rate range free right and so now um, up to fifty dollars. <throat> Let's say we want to charge ten dollars shipping. So minimum is zero, but we have here like forty nine ninety nine. Oh, sorry, ninety nine. And we want to charge 10 bucks for the shipping. So we can see here, rate amount, $10. We call them, everything is good. There's so many ways to, to charge shipping. It's just like one of the ways. Um, and that will not, also will not apply if you do like free plus shipping. That's also, that's a little bit different. So here, uh, you can see it here, shipping, we'll go back. We set up the shipping zone, so everything is good. Uh, these are like options if you if you want to integrate with, um, with UPS, like it's more complicated if you have your own brand, if you have your own fulfillment center, that will be for you. Uh, if you're after, you know, simple, uh, you know, simple drop shipping. So as you can see, a drop shipping service. Um, so you can see some of them are integrated with Shopify. So fulfillment by Amazon, custom order fulfillment. You can add it here. Like you can see like a lot of options here. So whether you drop ship from AliExpress or some other um, American like, you know, local services, uh, you can set it up in there and also sales channel. So sales channel, um, we have online store, we have Facebook. For that, we'll have to connect to our uh, Facebook page. Uh, we'll have to go through the integration. So uh, I don't have the page for this business created, so I'll just miss it, but you, you can just integrate it. And so Amazon as well, point of sale if you have, um, eBay, um, and then you can see sell any product in your existing websites, blogs, and email campaigns using Shopify buy button. So buy button, you just add it to your website here. And so, as you can see here, Messenger, which is which is pretty cool. Um, and so you can even add, you know, your uh, your buy buttons to the uh, Messenger. So the same here, you will have to like connect it uh, with your Messenger campaign. And so let's see what we have else in here. Um, so how's like other other platforms? So. As you can see, they're like it's pretty robust here. So we have basically everything set up. Uh, let's see uh, what we have with our online store, and we'll change this image. So as you can see, we have the image. Uh, this is um, this banner is basically um, we've got it from. Let's see, slideshow. It's free image. Auto rotate. We don't want to rotate. Like you don't want to distract user. Like you don't want to have you know 100 different uh, slides. You don't want to do it because um, so what we'll do now is we'll just remove it we'll have just one slide because the more slides you have the more distract you uh, your user 
and it's not good. So what we'll do is we'll change the image. So content image, as you can see here, remove, we'll remove, and what we'll do is we will uh, import the image that we have just downloaded. So let's see. So you can see the difference. Like this image was 4.1 megabyte, like very big. And this one, which, which we have created with tiny uh, PNG is only 837 kilobytes. So it's like four times smaller. So the page will load much faster. That's why you want to use that service guys. So, um, and basically here the, uh, like if you want to have your, um, uh, your slide link, uh, it will link to all collections. Uh, if you don't want to have it, it's all right. So it just, you know, uh, there are many different ways to, to set up your, um, basically to set up the structure of your website. So go back. So navigation here, you can see there are um, like different, um, different menus in here. Um, also the uh, like pages, as you can see all of the, uh, all of the pages, you can add new pages to your, to your store in here. Uh, if you want to, uh, blog posts, if you want to, like all this kind of stuff, uh, you can add in here. We added Facebook and Messenger, uh, and so Teams. Anytime, anytime you want, you can change it. Uh, it might it might break some things, but um, you have the ability to change it. And so, um, if you want to customize your team a little more. Uh, so I'll just guide you through here. Um, so basically you have like different elements in here that, that I showed you previously, how to add them. So you have feature collection, feature pro, you can add, you know, something else if you want to. Um, also if you want to change your header, so edit menu. So menu, right? So on top, you can see it like this kind of stuff in here. Uh, I want to show you like demonstrate it. So it's, it makes sense. Uh, let me, guys, and, and just, <clears throat> I want you just to understand that, you know, I'm not professional like developer and see like, I, I can print this website in like a few hours and start selling stuff. So you can, you can do it as well. It's like, they made it so easy for, you know, for everyone to use. So uh, you can see the, different uh like you have common catalog like menu on on top and so we can call it you know main menu and this one we can call you know whatever we want like we want to call it um let's say best selling products and other one is um the best products um no just um um on sale let's say on sale Right, and links, it will link to, okay, to links to products. Products and all products, let's say it will just leave. Uh, you can later on create separate category products on sale, it's, it's all right. So, uh, but just, just to show you that it can be created. So about us if you want to um guys where's this where this all comes from is um so you can see about us page is not no it's not created yet so you will have to create it uh but basically where this all comes from is from uh like reverse engineering your um you know your competitors and seeing how they structure their website so like all this stuff is you know very straightforward very simple to do it's just like you have to emulate it after some website that is, you know, that is already doing well. That's the main kind of like principle. Um, or you can just create, you know, based on your experience. If you have a lot of experience in e-commerce, like just, just create a website based on what you know works well. So what we'll do now, guys, and now I want to like, now that's really like kind of um, 
meat and balls um, of, 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 this, of this training, of this setup, uh, where we will basically set up uh, and send some products to our store. So let's say, like, that's basically the principle is someone comes to the, um, someone comes to the store, they want to, you know, they want to buy some product, and let's say we put that product on sale for, um, let's say, $15. And, you know, that product in reality, like, we go to AliExpress and let's say that's like some dress or something and we get that same product for um no these are like too expensive let's say up to three dollars let's see if we can find anything here okay um and we also always um ordered order by number of orders so we have we have some watches we have some um, dresses. Okay, let's say we want we want to sell this product, right? And so let's say we put the same product uh, for sale for like fifteen dollars. And so if if someone is ordering, they'll get this product um, from directly from 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 China from AliExpress, and we'll collect the difference that we can spend on advertising and basically to to get that that sale um, in our store. And so that's basically how that works. And uh, to, to import these products, we'll use the app, which is called Oberlo. Um, and so what we'll do now is we'll add Oberlo to, to Shopify. As you can see, it's, um, it's pretty straightforward. So that is done, that is done. Find products. So you can see like different categories on Oberlo, like as you can see guys, it's like very simple, very simple, um, let's see, men's, men's clothing and accessories. So let's see what we can find in here, price up to $2. So that's the ties that we have seen, maybe these are like some different, but very similar um let's see shipping e-packet let's say you want to find e-packet so it's about three dollars here three dollars three dollars like we have a bit limited options for this kind of price um okay any Say we're just looking for some inexpensive products that we can sell. Okay, so okay, so let's see. Let let's say we want to sell uh, suits. Okay, uh, we want to sell. Okay, because the price is too low uh, for suits. Sweaters. Let's say we want to sell sweaters, right? Let's say that's just kind of one of some of the products that you want to um, sell. And so you can add it to import list in here. And so you can see, you know, what, what kind of reviews here are for these products. Add to import list, add to import list, add to import list. And so we have our import list now. Uh, so we have dashboard, we have orders, we have import list in here. So guys, as you can see, uh, what we can do now is um, like in your store, you have the option to, um, so you have the, you have the navigation uh, and so you have the footer, footer menu and main menu. These are kind of like uh, main, main, main kind of um, categories of products. And so you can also add page to your to your store. Um, and like all of those pages, uh, the navigation basically uh, will be like one level level uh, lower. So here, for example like home, we have best-selling products, 
and so that will link to that will link to specific like pages in here as you can see and so uh, that's how you want to like basically structure the uh, the campaign so first you have footer menu main menu and then that goes to uh, like lower level of um, basically it's, it's breaking down this like uh, add menu as you can see you can you can add another menu um, and you can call it let's say sidebar if you want to about us you can have the page so all of these pages so collections closing items you can see all of those can be created in there and so those categories and now what we can do as you, you've seen in here uh, we can push all of those items to your uh, to your shop and so what you need to do before that what I would recommend is um, just to remove, you know, just to change the name. So, uh, sweater, like high quality sweater, you know, some, just put some names and you just put the description of this, um, of this product. Um, so you can then, you know, you can then differentiate them in your store and also it's more attractive for the customer because these are just like keyword stuff. These are not good descriptions. Um, so you can also hire someone to write those descriptions for you uh, on Fiverr. So if you go to Fiverr and we type product description. And so guys, um, there you go, Amazon, I mean, and like you can see here, these are these are uh, like more expensive, uh, but like SEO friendly e-commerce product, uh, unique e-commerce product, killer product description, like five dollars. Like you, you you can experiment here uh, and just share uh, sort them by best selling, and see you know what what pops up. Uh, just like you didn't want to have this like standard description and stuff and so then you can just push all of the products to the store and so let's see what uh, what it will do for us so products let's see if that sent us some yeah so the products are sent as you can see here um, and so what can be what can be done now is uh, you, you go in here and you can see like the description here. So that description is not no good. So you need to, um, as I said, you need to either like describe this product, you know, what this product is, you know, how it, you know, what it is, how it goes and stuff like that. So basically it's, it's more attractive. Just describe why people should buy that product from you. Uh, so then you have the, you know, basic structure uh, for, you have the basic, you know, like, the story will be ready to sell. Also, another thing here is another thing here is uh, action. Uh, like here's the price, right? So here's the price, and um, you can change this price in here. So let's say you've seen thirty nine seventy is the price for this item. Let's say you want to sell this item for ninety dollars, or you know whatever you want to sell it. Um, and so we've chosen that that price and you can see now it should upload yeah so price now is 90 bucks for this uh, for this product so that means you know if we if we are selling it for for 90 we paying 39 for for this product we're making some profit on it and so guys um, that is you know that is pretty much um, pretty much the like this is the simplest setup let's see how that will look now okay so this product Okay, high quality sweater. So this one uploaded, other ones are not uploaded. Let's let's just troubleshoot this right now um, and fix it, right? So uh, it's kind of like simulation of real, such as a real um, experience that you can have where something does not look as you want it to look. And so where we have the problem is the feature product, select product, and so we can have this product in here. This is it. 
quantity selector, image zoom, like all of those things will be available. Um, and so featured collection, the problem with that is um, it's, it says closing items. And so only one of these uh, products that we have added is in category of, if in collection of closing items. So um, we can edit collection. Um, if you want, you can add description like in this. Uh, in this, um, basically in this um, category, we have you know our our sweaters or you know whatever we have it there. So let's see. Yeah, so collections, closing items, we add, let's say this one we, we remove because it's not relevant. So, we have it in here and let's see how that looks now. There you go. Not sure why shirt, shirt, okay, this one we'll just remove. Now it should look better. So guys, you can see here, it's very basic, it's very, um, and as you can see, it's, the store is not active. It's the password is low true. Um, so you can, as you can see the description is not here. It's very basic, it's very simple. It's, it's not done yet, but you know, if we have our payment information here, someone comes, someone decides to buy, you know, we, we are good. We're good. And all of these buttons, all of these colors, you can customize to suit your, um, you know, to suit your preference. Uh, so. And the current team uh, is, is different, it's debut, it's like simplest Shopify team. So what we'll do now is will replace it and you'll see the difference. It's, um, it's Brooklyn team now, it will look different and it will look better. Um, so yeah, it's, it's basically, <laughs> it's removed everything that we have, um, we have accomplished. Let's see if we can get it back to, to debut team. Let's see if that will um, if that will put the uh, our standard team back. Yeah, so it's put our so it's it just like the you know it's better to start with Brooklyn team uh, and then and then basically you have um, you have everything here. But you can see the the basic setup is ready. Another thing, guys, that I wanted that I promised you to to, to show you uh, is how to how you can start collecting um, leads and email addresses from your website because that's super, super, super important, guys. Um, basically, you want, to, uh, you want to start collecting emails as soon as possible because, um, because that will, you know, that will drive like 10, 30, 50% of your sales. And that's why you want to have, you, ha you want to have it all uh, set up. And so, the apps that we use uh, to to get uh, email addresses is called Spin a Sale, and it has free trial of ten days and it's four dollars per month. Uh, we install this app. So we we'll just choose the free trial. Yeah, so it, it wants my credit card. I haven't put, yeah, so I haven't put the credit card. That's why it might not be activated, but let's see. 
yeah so it's here and so what we can do now is uh, we can yeah so it still wants okay it still wants my credit card but we yeah, all can show you the the basic um, setup in here let's see if I will be able to show you basically what what it will um, it will show you here is the option to um, to choose different settings and the way it looks as uh, this app looks is uh, basically when user lands on your website and when they want to leave or you know they're just browsing around they'll have this kind of like interactive thing popping up and um, they if they want to win um, win a prize win something from you they have to put their email address and then they click spin and then it will you know give them some of the options it's super established so you can see here um, you have you have certain settings like for example free shipping 1b15 so if and probability 20% so every fifth uh, so 20 out of 100 people will see this um, will see this coupon code here once they uh, turn it uh, once it spins this wheel and so what this will do uh, it will help you collect some emails and it will also help you to get more people to buy because they get this deal and you know they, they definitely want to utilize it so that, that's basically how it works. The setup here is like very straightforward. And that's just one of the most like important apps to, to utilize uh, with, with your store because um, you know you start collecting emails and you start sending, sending them some emails and then you start, um, you start to collect you know, revenue from, uh, from your emails. You start getting you know, extra sales. You start to recover sales and that increases your chances of basically making this work, making this uh, successful for you. So this is, um, this is pretty much it for basic setup guys. Uh, as you can see, like it's very straightforward. Search in here, cart in here. There are many different apps. I'll cover them in different video, uh, which you can set up to, to have your store running, to have you know, everything, um, to have everything basically ready for you to advertise and, you know, make money with, uh, with e-commerce. And so another, another thing that, uh, you can have is like, we have created all of the, uh, you know, terms and conditions, refund policy, all of those kind of, all of that kind of stuff. So I want to show you, um, for a second, how we make that stuff appear on the on the bottom and so footer we have footer um, you can see footer settings and so select menu footer And so what we'll do now is we'll edit menu, as you can see here. And when you add it, you can see search is what available. But what you can also add is a refund. Okay, the, let's see if we have it. Okay, we, ha we didn't have the uh, terms and conditions. For some reason, pages. Okay, so pages. Okay, we want to find out what is happening here. So we have um, account. Not here. So we want what we want to do is we want to find um, like those main kind of like settings for um, terms and conditions, like all of those, all of those like gener general things. It should be here. No, it's not here. So sales channel, checkout files, notifications, the notifications.
Link. It's one of these. Okay, no, it's not here again. Payment providers. It's not here too. And it's not here, um, so it's it's very strange. Um, well, was it the terms and conditions? Um, basically, terms and conditions like refund policy, all of those kind of. Um, okay, so it was here something. Yeah, so that's that Shopify uh, terms and conditions. Okay, we'll just terms and conditions. Shopify store. So, yeah, it's here finally. Um, so get started. So here, um, you can see here, legal disclaimer. Um, okay, this legal disclaimer. But like here you can get a refund policy. Um, basically that's that's where you can get like the basic templates that you can utilize for your um, for your store. And so after you have that, you know, over time you can improve it and you can um, you can basically you know improve on that. But you know, as as a starting point you have that. So just just so you can find it. It's we we've, we've been through all of this um, we bit through all of these menus together. Uh, it just is <laughs> summary. Notifications, uh, notification, let's see. Template. No, I just, I, I want to <laughs> online checkout. Settings checkout, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's. It's in checkout section. So guys, um, here, um, checkout. And yeah, so these are like basically the standard ones. Standard ones that you can, you can also like take and um, like for example, refund policy, right? So, so this one on, on the bottom is, ter is called uh, terms of service. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll go to online store um, and we want to add it because like we don't want to issues with Facebook. So so what we'll do now is we'll call we'll create new page. I'll remove the password. So here you would um, you would put your pixel ID um, for your store. If you want to enable a password page, you can do it here. If you want to remove it, you can remove. But you need to pick up a plan. Um, and so that's, that's where you can uh, do all that kind of stuff. So we go to pages and we, we click add page. We click terms of service. And we, we just paste, you know, whatever we copy it in there. So just basic stuff. And so now in, in footer menu, what we can do is we can uh, adds that page to the bottom of the website and that's the same thing we can do with all of the um, main pages like refund policy terms and conditions and all of that kind of stuff so um, so that was terms of service this is it and so if we check it now we save it and we purchase the store.
yeah there you go so the same way you can add all of those pages guys so that's pretty much it you have you have your store you're collecting emails like you have basically you know products ready to sell like if you have payment settings um, integrated like all of those settings done you can basically go and start selling you know products um, products online you know and make make some money so that's pretty much it guys and thank you so much and I'll see you next video